This video explains how to reproduce and fix the error message attribute error type object date time dot daytime has no attribute daytime in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. So let's assume that we want to create a date time object in Python. Then we might try to use the following code, as you can see in the first and second code boxes. So in the first code box, I'm importing date time from date time. And then in the next step, I'm using the date time constructor to create a date time object, which corresponds to the 6th of August 2022. However, after running this line of code, you can see that the attribute error type object date time dot date time has no attribute date time is returned. And the reason for that is that we have not imported the date time module properly. Because in the first line of code, we have imported date time from date time. However, in case you want to create a date time object yourself, you need to import the entire date time module. And you can do that as you can see in the third code box. So we simply have to specify import date time, and then we can apply exactly the same syntax as in the second code box. However, this time no error message is returned anymore. And you can also see that the creation of our date time object worked well by printing the content of our new date time object below the code box. And then you can see that we have created a datetime object that contains the 6th of August 2022 at 000. 000. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.